was from Orange County, PBS and Orange County, remember? KOCE or something like that. KOCE, they, they're the funders and the producers, and so we did this telecourse. Sent it down to KOCE, they kicked it back, cleaned it up, sent it back down, and that was it. Like one, one time edit. And I, they came back after that one and said, why don't you just write it all? <laughs> <laughs> I said, why don't you pay? <laughs> Seeing one episode a week here in Chico, in a 12 by 4 room. Steve Chalet is a local guy here. Uh, Bruce Quickendall, Anita, and myself. So this is 2004. The program was released in 2005, and um, we get a notice, and the next thing we know, we have Emmys. Yeah. So I have two in my hand. Uh, one for writing and one for managing production, doing the overall production. I'm Chris Koenig. Uh, my call sign is Kilo Kilo Zero November Indian Golf. I'm a volunteer with the Butte County Aries, and what we're going to look at is a go kit that I've developed. This is my second uh, iteration on this. I have another one that's uh, with a uh, Yezu 2900R, but I learned some things from that uh, development that I've developed this one for the 857, which we're going to go mainly digital. You know, a DJ is going in or a musician, you put a rack in here for your amps or whatever. All folds up real nice. And the really nice part is that you can just go right out to the airplane as a carry on. You just put the overhead. So if we ever get deployed, we can do that one as well. In the back one, I can put. Uh, 30 feet of DC cable with gator clips to go to a battery. Um, it also holds the AC uh, cable that I have. And I can also put um, 50 feet of coax back there. All, it'll all bundle up nicely. And so we have an 857. Currently it's configured for digital. But the signal link, it's cable to the signal link. And, then this, and the audio is also going from the radio back to the signal link. And then I have the uh, USB cable for the computer that goes there. Um, we have a voltage meter which reads coming in from the feed, the 12 volt feed, um, uh, before it hits the DC to DC uh, uh, boost that I have in here. Uh, there's a regular uh, uh, cigarette lighter port if you want to do an accessory. There's also a USB accessory if you want to charge a phone or something. On the back, to keep it clean and simple, uh, basically have the uh, the 12 volt power supply. What, what kind of uh, connectors are those called again? Andersons. Yeah, there's some power, power poles. Yeah. So what I have is I have the power supply being fed by the AC. That power supply comes out here as 12 volt, and I put a jumper in here. And that jumper can be come off, and I can go with a uh, direct to a, a battery or whatever type of 12 volt supply I'm going to be using, other than the power supply. So if we get in a situation where we don't have AC, we can run that one. Now that's an antenna connected UHF. Uh, There's a, right, because of the 857 has dual antenna right. uh, ports coming off, you bring them in together, and then I run a uh, an Addis uh, 100 uh, for this rig. So that's I have that on a tripod that runs out. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. Well, thank you.